welcome to Tala National Basketball Arena. Here we are for the under 19C National Cup final. Uh, this is a game that was delayed from January. Uh, so this is the only cup game on this week. The rest of the game will be school league finals. And coming up, we have in Navy Methodist College from Belfast, and they are the home team. And in the lighter blue and orange is St. Andrew's College from Booterstown. I'm joined today on commentary with Paul Carr. Paul, what are you expecting? Yeah, this should be a tight game. Both teams have been uh, had great cup runs, um, some great talent on show today. Um, I suppose for Booterstown, they're really looking at Frida Alfrags. Um, she's been fantastic for Booterstown in the last couple of games. And then on Methodist, obviously, uh, George McGrath, who has um, just been phenomenal, having some big scoring games. So I'm expecting a good game. Yeah, looking forward to it as we see uh, St. Andrews here in the light blue attacking from left to right and they're on offense currently so it's going to be a good battle inside as well I think uh, shot clock violation so ball will be Methodist College coming up uh, both teams have like you said have had some big scores I know Georgie McGrath has had multiple 30 plus point games for uh, Methodist and uh, likewise for St. Andrews We've had a couple of girls who've hit 30 points on a few of their games in this run. As we see Laura McCann get things going for Methodist College. Nice jump shot. Laura McCann's an exciting prospect on this game as well. Maybe has flown under the radar a little bit, but she's uh, playing with Belfast Rockets in Division One National League, and this is her first season at that level, and she's been getting some court time uh, in Belfast, so I think she could be uh, one who be exciting as we she drop a nice assist there and Georgie McGraw was just a little bit short on it so here we are St. Andrews pushing the ball Georgie McGraw bringing it up for Methodist another long two two quick baskets from that left hand elbow So Alvrag with the ball. Andrews looking inside. Ball back up top with Alvrag. She looks to attack the lane. Good defense there by Methodist. Three point attempt coming up. Rims off the back of the rim. Both teams starting in zone here, Paul. Yeah, both teams starting on 2-3 zone. It, it seems to be the kind of fall back um, defense for most teams in the C division. Um, it's quite because teams maybe struggle with their outside shooting it stops a lot of easy buckets at the late uh, in the paint so um be interesting now the shots are falling for Methodist if it doesn't fall for Bitterstown they could be in a bit of a, a bit of a problem good offensive rebound there Alicia El Aruzi nice put back as we see Georgia McGraw with the long two, doesn't drop, but Laura McCann inside. She gets it, puts it back up. That doesn't fall. And the ball with Alvrag for Booterstown. Under pressure, she swings the ball across. Thought about the long three-point attempt, but saw her teammate wide open under the basket. Nice score there, and we've tied up the scores. It's four all. McCann left wide open for that jump shot doesn't fall for her that time good rebound and Booterstown look to get out ball well saved there by Alarusi good job there by Avian Heatley as we see Joyce Joyce Eloy, she's going to be going to the free throw line, shooting two. Nice to see both teams looking to get out in transition, Paul. Yeah, that's what both teams are going to need to do. Um, when that 2 3 zone set up, it's very hard to get in and penetrate the zone. So to get out before the zone is set up and get some easy baskets in transition is, is exactly what both teams need to be looking for. 
first one doesn't drop. <laughs> Lane violation, so shot attempt won't count. Didn't fall anyway, and here we go. Booterstown. Backcourt violation. A lot of nerves, as you'd expect in the first quarter National Cup final. Yeah, and the crowd's starting to come in now, and it's uh, it's starting to fill up the arena, which just puts that little bit of extra pressure on most of these players. Maybe haven't played in such a, a, a big arena with such a big crowd before. Ball's inside again with Joyce. She was looking for McCann, but pass didn't quite come off. I would know some of the girls from, from Belfast, and uh, I know Joyce, along with Georgie McGrath, are both on the Northern Ireland netball team at underage level. The ball will stay with Booterstown. O'Brien, O'Brien with three-point attempt, and gets it to drop. Apologies, sorry, that was Flynn, Anna Wilson Flynn. McCann inside, spins, gets her own rebound and puts it back in. It was a lovely spin move by McCann and to follow her own shot as well and get that offensive rebound. Alvrag, back up top to O'Brien. That shot didn't drop for her. McCann bringing the ball up for Methodist. To McGrath. Long two. That drops. Good shooting there by Methodist. O'Brien. Draws the foul from McGrath, and she'll go to the line for two. Paul, I think I'm going to have to join your ranks and get glasses. I am finding the numbers on the back of the Booterstown jerseys quite difficult to read. Yeah, the red with the white drumming is quite hard to see now, but uh, I don't think the glasses are <laughs> going to do much help. First one drops for O'Brien. Ties it up. Five and a half to go. Second rims out. McCann with the rebound. And she draws the foul. From O'Brien. She reached as she was going past her. McCann. Heatley doesn't drop that time. She hit one from there earlier on. So Havrag with the ball. To O'Brien, back to Havrag. Good interception there by Avine Heatley. She plays her club basketball at Queen's Basketball Club, under 16 level. So quite young to be stepping up to this level, but it's exciting as we see McCann get the steal and does a really good job and finishes off the layup. Nice anticipation there of the pass. And she did a good job taking it away. And again, Heatley and McCann doing well at the top of that zone for Methodist. And here's McCann coming down. And should look, find Heatley. Oh, they looked inside. That was Sophie Fennell. Timeout is called for Booterstown. And we'll be right back.
Welcome back, 4.48 to go in this first quarter. Methodist College in Navy from Belfast have a two point lead. As we see Alvarez bringing the ball down for Booterstown. Ball is inside to Brown, intercepted by Heatley. McGrath forward to McCann. McCann comes up short. Booterstown pushing out. O'Brien finding Alvarag, nice play. She was looking for her teammate the whole time and knew she was going to fill that lane outsider, and she did. McCann up top. Heatley looking inside into McGrath. Oh, ball's going to stay with Methodist. going to be tough for McGrath to get much change inside uh, the three forwards for Booterstown are tall girls Paul yeah especially Brown here just with that interception and I think it's something Booterstown need to maybe look at going forward too she seems to have the better of Joyce inside so if they can move that ball around and get her inside on that low post I think she'll get a couple of scores mm, number 14 Harsha Abraham a lovely player there Nice score inside. Had checked in for Methodist. As we see Booterstown take a two-point lead with 3.35 to go in this first quarter. Heatley across to Abraham. She was looking for McCann, but good interception by O'Brien. O'Brien to Alvrag. And she swings it up, and it's gone across to O'Brien, but fumbled it, but it's back with Alvrag. So Brown inside. O'Brien with the nice 14-foot jumper. She got hit on it. And that's two moves now where Brown and uh, O'Brien have worked together and just one at the high post, one in the low post, and cutting off each other, and they've got a score now and a, a free throw attempt. Time out call. We'll be right back. Welcome back, 3.14 to go in this first quarter. Pretty even game so far, both teams are settling in a little bit. Booterstown have done a good job getting the ball into the paint and scoring. And Methodists have done a good job with their mid-range two-point shooting. O'Brien at the line for St. Andrews. Good on the first one. And the second, taking it up to the largest lead of the game. McCann bringing it down for Methodist. They'll be looking to try and get McGrath into a little bit of it. Ball with Abrams, up top to Heatley, inside to McGrath. Joyce kicks it out with Heatley. McCann thought about the shot, then stepped inside. Good work inside by Joyce, and she forces that tip out of bounds. It'll stay Methodist ball. Up top. 
top with Abrams. Cross to Heatley. McGrath with the three-point attempt, which she knocks down, something she's added to her game this past season, and uh, shoots to great effect there as we see O'Brien bringing the ball up. Up top to Alvrag. She will take a three-point attempt from top of the key. Doesn't drop. Good defensive rebound. Nice box out. As coaches, we all like to see that, Paul. Yeah, McGrath. definitely is a skill that uh, I think sometimes can be uh, underrated, but uh, if you can control your board, you have a great chance of winning any game. Yeah. I think that's going to be on Brown. McCann being aggressive there in the low post. Third team foul for St. Andrews. 2.16 to go in this first quarter. Balls with McCann. Out to McGrath. In to Joyce. Joyce up to Abrams. To Heatley. To McCann. McGrath with the long two. Off the front of the rim. Alvrag with the defensive rebound. She puts it ahead. But Atkinson wasn't quite ready for it. Good work by O'Brien to Alvrag. Alvrag again looking ahead for Brown. Finds Brown close to the basket. That one doesn't drop for her. Good rebound inside by Abrams. Brown working hard. And Alvrag and McCann will tie up. Possession will go with Methodist. 140 to go in this first quarter. One point game. McCann with the ball up top. Heatley, Abrams, McCann looking inside, off the foot, so shot clock reset to 14, Methodist with the ball. Ball up top to Abrams to Heatley. Heatley attacks the middle of the paint. Nice score. Young player, she's done really well in this first quarter. Ball inside, nice. Interaction there in the post between O'Brien and Brown. Something that they've worked to good effect. As we see McCann. Comes off the screen, steps in, gets blocked. Alvrag head up looking to see can she release any of her players. Nobody's wide open, so swings it across to O'Brien. O'Brien with the three-point attempt. That doesn't drop. Alvrag picks up the rebound. Alarusi with the miss. And it's McGrath looking ahead. So McCann with the ball. That's going to be the fourth team foul I think it's Atkinson it's going to pick it up her first 28 seconds to go in this first quarter Heatley with the ball inside to McGrath McGrath looks inside for McCann the ball was just behind her though they're struggling against Brown in there. She's just been a nuisance on both sides of the floor. She just gets hands. She's long. She's athletic. And uh, she just gets hands to everything and tips to everything. And just is a hired person to shoot over. 14 seconds to go. O'Brien on the elbow. Thought about the shot. Got McGrath off the ground. But McGrath blocks her. Seven seconds to go. They're pushing it up. Looked inside. 3.8 on the clock. She was looking for Heatley, who was running well down the lane, but Alvarez got a tip on it. So they've run the same inbounds play, so they'll be looking to see if they can get McGrath in the corner. No, she's gone inside for a change, but I think we're not going to have time. And there is the buzzer at the end of this first quarter. Methodist by one. We'll be back with the second quarter in two minutes' time.
Welcome back to the second quarter. It's the under 19C National Cup Final. This is the only cup final on this week. The rest are National School League finals. Uh, this is a rescheduled game from January. In light blue, going from left to right, and with the ball starting the second quarter, St. Andrews from Booterstown, and in navy is Methodist College from Belfast. McCann with the steal. She's looking ahead to Heatley, finds Heatley in the lane. Lost her balance just a little bit. So to go back and be St. Andrews ball. Atkinson to Albrag. Albrag bringing the ball down, goes to the left wing. Looks inside to O'Brien, O'Brien to Brown. Methodists do a good job of tying things up. McCann comes away with it, and it's going to be a jump ball. Possession arrow with Methodist. McCann. Abrams inside to McGrath. McGrath puts it up, doesn't drop. Rebound by Brown. Brown finds Alvarez. Looking inside to O'Brien. O'Brien finds Brown close to the basket. That doesn't drop. Good tip by Joyce. And she finds McCann. McCann goes along that baseline. McGrath with the offensive rebound and gets fouled on the putback attempt. I think she went to the free throw line 16 times in the semi final and hit 15 from 16, Paul. I hope you just have him cursed her now with these free throws. <laughs> As we see checking into the game, Martha Prendergast, number 17. For St. Andrews Booterstown. No, I have faith in Georgie. I think she's going to make both. Oh! Told you, commentator's cards. Yeah, McCann with a good offensive rebound and a putback. Biggest lead of the game for Methodist now. Back and forth. Four points being the biggest lead for either team as we see O'Brien on the elbow. Finds Alvrag on the wing for the three-point attempt. That doesn't drop, but it'll come off Abrams. So it'll stay a Booterstown ball. Yeah, Alvrag needs to make a couple of them shots now. They've realized the ball's going into the high and low post with O'Brien and Brown. Um, it's leaving her open, so she has to have a couple of them stretch the zone and get some more easy baskets inside for Brown. O'Brien attacks the paint. Nice jump stop. Maybe it wasn't such a nice jump stop. As we see Heatley to McCann. McCann will bring the ball up for Methodist. Neither team has come out of their 2-3 zone. They're both happy with how they're performing at the moment. McGrath looks inside to McCann. Like you said, so Brown is a is a long presence in the middle of that zone and you know she's tough to shoot over. O'Brien to Alvrag. Back to O'Brien. Alvrag swings it across. Also, Kaylee Bingham, I checked in, number 41 for Booterstown. As we see Sophie Finnell come back in for Methodist. Heatley. Oh, lovely pass inside to McCann. Great vision there and well-executed pass from top of the key. 
Great movement off the ball from McGrath too. She took Brown out of that uh, spot inside the zone that she <laughs> normally blocks up and that gave a, an easy basket inside. Good work by Brown, staying with it. Oh, picks up the putback from O'Brien's attempt. McCann to McGrath, McGrath across to Heatley. Good decision there by Heatley. Put the ball on the floor. Got the defender slightly out of position and drew the contact. Fennel inbounding to McCann. McCann inside to McGrath. Good block there by Brown. But nice steal. It was, oh, again, just a little bit off balance, but good work by these Methodist guards. Heatley and McCann are doing a good job of being very disruptive, Paul. Yeah, definitely, um, especially you've seen a couple of tips there in and around the top, so um, Alvarag now is fairly confident passing the ball, but it's when it goes to the other guards and they're trying to pass it back. Uh, they seem to be struggling, and uh, McCann especially is getting a lot of easy tips and getting out in the fast break. Heatley inside to Joyce, Joyce to Georgie. Georgie will pop that up off the back of the rim. Good rebound by O'Brien. She finds Alvarag out on the break. Alvarag's looking inside, but McGrath read it. And she le releases McCann. That doesn't drop. Good work inside there by Bingham, getting that defensive rebound. She was under a bit of pressure, so jump ball called. And once again, McCann just being disruptive and <laughs> getting to everything, hands on everything. Yeah, she's a great motor. O'Brien. Nice screen to free up Alvrag. The shot doesn't drop. O'Brien gets the offensive rebound. Put back attempt doesn't drop. Nice form on it though. McGrath across to McCann. Fennel. Heatley. Joyce inside. Fake the pass to McCann. Heatley with the three-point attempt off the front of the rim. Good rebound there by Ella Rusi. Alvarag. Comes off the high, high wing screen. Foul has been called. I think that's going to be the second foul on Heatley, and we're going to have a timeout. 5.37 to go in the second quarter. We'll be right back. Welcome back for the second quarter, under 19 C National Schools Cup Final in Navy, Methody College. Shout out to Brian Keyes for keeping me straight. In light blue and on the free throw line, St. Andrews from Booterstown. Alvrag misses her first attempt. 5.37 to go in the second quarter. Mix 
That's her second. And now it's a three-point game. McCann with the ball. She's looking inside. Heatley finds Joyce. Joyce gets McCann close to the basket, but that girl Brown doing a good job of being disruptive. Alvrag releases for Booterstown. She's looking inside for Brown. Nice pass. Very underrated, but very effective. A bounce pass to the person running the lane through the key. Paul? Yeah, that was a lovely pass. It's just a pity uh, Brown could get the jump stop and finish, but a uh, great pass from Alvarez. Mm. McCann to Heatley. To Fennel. Finds Joyce inside again. Lovely pass. Lovely job of sealing the defender above her top shoulder, and then when that perfect pass came in, made it an easy finish. Brown. That didn't drop. Fennel with the rebound. McCann now pushing the ball for Methody. She pulls up. That one was just a little short. As we see Alfrag inbound to O'Brien. Method will be looking to get McGrath into it a little bit more, but you have to say credit to Booterstown. They've done a good job of forcing everything to be contested. As we see McCann pick up a foul. That'll be her second. Yeah, McGrath's still doing great work, though. She's freeing up McCann quite a bit. Once she cuts across the zone, it's forcing uh, Brown to come up and challenge her, and it's actually leaving the back door on for McCann, and she's got a couple of baskets inside from that. Alvrag. Brown working hard inside, but doesn't get it to drop. Heatley was coming out. El Alarusi will pick up her third foul. You might see a change coming there in boot from St. Andrews. McGrath doesn't drop, but McCann gets the offensive rebound. But again, Brown stops her twice. I would say Brown has about five blocks in this game already. Yeah. She's done really well inside there. O'Brien throws it up. Alvrag looks ahead. Nice play there by St. Andrews. We're looking at teams on how to run transition. Good rim run there by... Brown and she gets rewarded with the nice pass from Albrecht. Fennel looking inside, finds McGrath. McGrath with the little pump fake off the glass, but it doesn't drop. O'Brien with the rebound. And now it's Albrecht pushing the ball for St. Andrews and she'll pull up for a long two. That doesn't go. Good box out by Methody and. We'd see McCann bring the ball up. Oh, nice pass inside again. Sophie Fennell has done a great job of getting the ball inside to first Joyce and then Laura for two great scores, which have kept this five-point lead with 2.45 to go in the second quarter. Ball to Brown. Good job of disrupting that pass to the cutting O'Brien. McCann tries the Euro step. Comes off the glass. El Alarusi, good work inside. Alvrag now will push it and is looking inside for Brown, and she does a good job of finding her, but a little bit off balance on that put up attempt. And Brown might be a little bit tired. She's slow to get back. Now she's wide open because of that. But Joyce runs well and intercepts. Fennel to McGrath. McGrath looking inside. Back to Fennel. Fennel with another great pass inside, but that one doesn't drop for McCann. As we see O'Brien with it. Lovely play by O'Brien. Switched onto her left hand, scooped it under, laid it nice and soft off the glass and got that one to drop. And it brings it back to a three-point game with just over 1.30 to go in the second quarter. 
Heakley looking inside. Joyce to McGrath. McGrath back out to Heatley. Heatley thought about the three. Instead put the ball on the floor. That one doesn't drop for her though, but she gets her own rebound. Jump ball called. The ball will stay with Methody. So we see Atkinson check back in. Timeout actually called. One minute 14 to go in the second. We'll be right back. We'll come back now. We've won 14 to go in the second quarter under 19C. Schools Cup final. Only Schools Cup game on this week. The rest will be Schools League finals. Atkinson checked in for El Alarusi, who picked up her third there just a moment ago. Fennel for Methody to McGrath. Booterstown have switched to a man. As we see McCann with it with Alvarag marking her. Heatley putting the ball on the floor. Again, another block by Brown. McGrath looked inside. Shot clock. The change in defense, I think, caught Methody uh, on the hop a little bit there, but they will adjust. Did a lot of quality players on the side, and Coach Kathy McGrath will. Have them ready. 50 seconds to go in the second quarter. Albrag with three-point attempt from the slot, and she knocks it down to tie up this game. Momentum with Booterstown at the moment. Method will be looking to try and get a score here. Fennel to Heatley. Heatley gets past her defender, gets the shot up. We'll go to the line for two. Nice play there by Heatley, recognizing her defender was slightly off balance and she attacked that lane and drew the contact. That's Atkinson's second foul. This is the first, 28.6 seconds to go in the second quarter. Makes the second, restore that lead. Alvrag with the ball, she just hit a three. You wonder will they try and find her again for another look. Again, McCann doing good work. And Heatley, the two guards at the top for Methody have been exceptional at disrupting the pass in and around the top of the key. Yeah, as much as Brown for uh, St. Andrews has probably six or seven blocks, I would say McCann for Methody has around the same amount of steals. So she's been impressive on the defensive and offensive end. Heatley's at the line because we're on team fouls for Booterstown. 17 seconds to go. She misses the first. And makes the second. Alvrag with the ball. We'll be looking for one shot attempt to try and get the clock down to four or five seconds. O'Brien on the elbow. Eurostep gets it to drop, ties up the game. And we're all square here at halftime. We'll be back in 10 minutes with the second half of this under-19 C. 
National Cup School Final.
Welcome back to the second half. Here we are in this under 19C final. In light blue, we have St. Andrews from Booterstown, who will be going from right to left and attacking the basket. And as we see, Sarah Brown going to work inside there, getting her own miss twice. And in the navy, and with the ball now, Georgie McGrath, we have Methodist College from Belfast. Heatley swings it up to Fennell. Fennell across to McGrath. McGrath looks inside to Joyce. And Joyce does a good job turning and scoring. And that puts Methody back up in front. O'Brien to Brown. We've been saying that quite a bit today. As we see a lovely link up between those two players. St. Andrews staying in this man to man and they're looking inside for Joyce, but a little bit too hot to handle. As we see El Alarusi checking back in. And that was Kaylee Bingham just taking a quick breather. O'Brien with the ball. She looks inside to Brown. They have a good synergy, those two players. They've done a good job of finding each other. And that St. Andrews will take the lead for the first time in about six minutes. It's been very back and forth between the two teams as we see McGrath going to work inside against Alvrag. And she draws the foul. McGrath going to the line for two. Next to first. Foul was called an O'Brien. Apologies, wasn't Alvarez. And the second. Ties up the game, 8.30 to go in this third quarter. Alvrag with the ball. She finds Brown. Brown with the jab step, but gets called for the traveling and drags her back foot a little. Referee was just checking to make sure Brown was okay. She taking a little bit of a hip check there as she was going past Joyce. McCann with the ball. Attacks the lane. Fennell swings it across. Ball still in play. Brown to Alvrag. A little bit of a loose pass there by Methody. Brown. Alvrag with three-point attempt. Comes off the rim. Good work inside. Ties up the ball. El Arusi. It's going to be a methody ball based on the possession arrow. So what do you think the key messages were, Paul, at halftime? Yeah, I think uh, Anders is changing up their defense now to this man-to-man. Uh, -man. Could bring a lot of problems for... Um, Methody, as you see McCann here driving the baseline. Um, I suppose for Methody, they want to try to get some more inside looks just like that there. <laughs> nice call, Paul. Yeah, that was Heatley doing a great job cutting down the lane. You have to say Methody have done a really good job of sharing the ball and looking for the person who's cutting into the key. O'Brien looks inside to Brown. That one's a little bit loose as we see Kaylee Bingham getting ready to check back in for St. Andrews. McCann looking for McGrath. O'Brien did a good job making sure that didn't go in. Alvrag pulls up for the 15 footer. Doesn't fall, but Atkinson working hard to get that offensive rebound and 
Ties up the ball and it will stay with St. Andrews as we see Kaylee Bingham check back in for Atkinson. Methody did a good job disrupting. Ball out wide to McGrath. McGrath inside to McCann. McCann with the reverse layup. And this game has been so back and forth. Four point lead. 6.35 to go in this third quarter. O'Brien looking inside. Drag the back foot again a little bit. Metody have good, done a good job, whether it's intentional or not, of providing a bit of body contact and then releasing it, and that's uh, caused the Buddhist Town girls to be a little bit off balance. And while it's been a bit stop-start with these travels, you have to say some of it is down to good defense, and that situation there was good defense by St. Andrews. And Heatley couldn't get the ball on the floor quick enough, even though she'd started her movement. So right call, but good defense forcing these turnovers. The other stone coming down the right side every time. Um, it's kind of getting a bit predictable. They know exactly where Brown's going to set up. They know exactly where uh, the two girls are looking to pass the ball. They need to try and move the ball on both sides of the floor, get the other players involved, because uh, the zone from Bitterstein or the help defense is just sagging over and making it impossible to get a, a, an open look. Joyce in the key to McCann. McCann looks at the cutting Heatley. That didn't drop, but McCann helped out inside. And has drawn the foul. She's going to go to the line. And that one is on Albrecht, and that is going to be her second. Timeout call by Booterstown. 5.50 to go in this third quarter. Welcome back, 5.50 to go. That was uh, St. Andrews of Booterstown, their first time out on the second half. Coming up next, after this at one o'clock, we will have the under 16A boys school league final between St. Patrick's College Cavan and St. Joseph's De Bish in Galway. That should be a cracker poll. Yeah, and uh, I'll be watching that one quite to uh, closely. We have Tony from uh, the Bish, a fantastic player. He's still actually just turned 15 there a week or so ago. Um, so he's still under 16 next year, and uh, he's a fantastic athletic player, so it'll be interesting to see how he gets on. McCann makes her first, misses the second, but Heatley picks up that offensive board. Brown with another block. The travel is going to be called. Brown doing good work inside that key. There's every chance that she's uh, heading on her way to 10 plus blocks in this game. Yeah, she might even get there before mm -hmm. the start of the fourth. Nice pass inside by Alvarez. Good cut by Brown. She got around the defender, hooked the leg, and, and finished. 5.25 to go in this third quarter. Fennell to Heatley, Heatley from the elbow. 
made one to start the game and knocks down another. Albrecht bringing the ball up now for Booterstown. McGrath fronted Brown that time and did a good job of getting it as we see. Referee didn't have a clear view of who that went off, so it's going to be called a jump ball. Possession arrows with Methody. Yeah, good interception from McGrath there. She, uh, the first play that they got the score off from Brown, it was an excellent uh, play called by the coaches, just having the uh, O'Brien screen across and coming off that screen. But uh, McGrath knew what was coming the second time and read it well. Brown with another block. O'Brien picks it up inside for St. Andrews. He's under pressure. Just a little bit overzealous there defensively. Pity because they had done a good job of pinning her to the sideline. Alvrag. Inside to O'Brien. Looked for Alvrag again off the cut. Didn't get it. Ball being tied up. It's going to stay with St. Andrews. Inside to Brown. Brown back out to O'Brien for the three-point attempt. It doesn't drop. Brown works hard to get that offensive rebound. But the foul was called. Foul was on Sophie Fennell. That's her first as we see O'Brien O'Brien sorry Sarah Brown that time cut to the basket catch it and finish Fennell looking inside back up to McGrath McGrath doesn't drop but McCann gets the offensive rebound quick release over Brown and it stays a five point lead Alvrag on the wing, looking inside for Brown. Methody double her. O'Brien puts it up, hits the front of the rim. McCann with the rebound. Running down this right-hand lane. Another travel called, and it's Alvrag. O'Brien. O'Brien looking inside at Brown. Alvrag gets it back as she cuts into the paint. Brown from top of the key. Good offensive rebound by Ella Rusi, but McGrath read where the pass was coming to and picked it up. McGrath working hard inside and she draws the contact. And that is going to be the third foul on O'Brien. Yeah, and it's a pity because she stood well and she stopped uh, McGrath on her tracks, but uh, she just got over excited and tried to rip the ball. If she just stayed, it might have been a turnover. McGrath knocks down her first, takes this out to a six point lead, which is the largest it's been. Will she make her second pull? I don't want a car, sir. <laughs> Maybe I should have said no. Yeah. McCann with the offensive rebound, put up, doesn't drop. Right call there. She got her own putback attempt, but Brown again with the block from behind. I would say that must be 10 now. Yeah. Okay, O'Brien with the ball here now for St. Andrews. And she shoots the corner, the slot three doesn't drop, and Fennell picks up the rebound. 
kicks to McGrath. McGrath will drive baseline. And she's going to pick up the foul from O'Brien. That will be, well, let's see, is it called on O'Brien? Yes, it is. And that will be her fourth. Two quick fouls for O'Brien there. That could be crucial. Yeah, definitely, O'Brien has been uh, their main kind of attacking force. She had 10 points in the first half there. So to have her in foul trouble now going into the fourth uh, could be a major key to this game. Graham makes the second, largest lead of the game. It's out to seven, 2.45 to go in this third quarter. That foul was also St. Andrew's fourth team foul. As we see O'Brien attack in. Ball kicked back out to Alvrag. It doesn't drop for her. She stays with the play. Good work there between McCann and McGrath, and it forced the ball out of bounds, so it will stay methody. Fennel to McCann. McCann all the way in, looks for the Euro step, lovely finish with the left hand off the glass. Now we're out to nine points with 2.20 to go in this third quarter. Alvrag goes baseline, draws the foul from McCann, which will be her third. Smart play there by Alvrag. Recognized that there was a lane open on the baseline and attacked it. Yeah, definitely. Timeout call by Methody. 2.11 to go in this third quarter. We'll be right back. Welcome back. That was a Methody timeout with 2.11 to go in this third quarter. Alvrag at the free throw line, about to shoot her first of two. St. Andrews will be working hard to try and ensure that this lead does not get any larger before they get into the fourth, Paul. Yeah, and I think th that last play from Alberg is something that she needs to look at a little bit more. They know that uh, they want to pass the ball into Brown and uh, being able to take the, uh, them open shots when they're sagging off, trying to stop the entry pass or taking that drive to the lane um, is key for them to get them some extra points as they've gone back to their 2-3 zone here. Fennel to McCann. In to Joyce. Doesn't drop. McCann picks up the scraps and... Shoots that mid-range jumper off the front of the rim. Brown with the rebound. She finds O'Brien. O'Brien staying in with four fouls. And steps back for the elbow jumper. Great rebound. Oh, good work there by Alvrag. Yeah. She was right behind McCann. They didn't see her when they passed to McCann. McCann didn't realize she was there. And when she turned, good defensive pressure. Forced to turn over. O'Brien. Back out to Alvrag. Alvrag thought about the shot. O'Brien will let it loose. Doesn't drop, but El Alarusi. Out to Alvrag, and she will let it go from the wing. 
big three. Brings it back to five points with one minute 10 to go in this third quarter. Georgie McGrath looks inside. That one was disrupted, but McCann gets it back. Heatley with the miss. The ball will stay. Navy with Methody. It was a big score from Alvarez. That if they can get a good stop here and another score, they've really put themselves in a good position going into the fourth, where they seem to be seeming to be ti uh, tiring there. McGrath. Great answer. Nice long mid-range two. 50 seconds to go. O'Brien with the ball for St. Andrews. And she pulls up for the long two. That doesn't drop. Good work inside by El Arusi. Forces the ball off McCann, so it'll stay with St. Andrews. 40 seconds to go in this third quarter. Alvarag looking for Brown, finds her, kicks it back out to Alvarag for the three-point attempt. That one doesn't drop. Foul is going to be called, I think, on El Arusi. Yep. And that is going to be her fourth foul. 35 seconds to go. That is also the fifth team foul. So... Sophie Fennell will go to the free throw line to shoot two. For those not that familiar with basketball, each team has four team fouls in each quarter. And then when they get to the fifth, every foul they make, unless it's an offensive foul, will send the opposite team to the free throw line, no matter where it happens, whether it's a shooting foul or not. Sophie Fennell makes her first and her second. Brings the lead back out to nine, which is the largest that it's been for Methody. O'Brien. Good response there, you have to say. At four points from Methody to ensure that, the, as we see Alvarag pull, out, pull the trigger from the three. Doesn't go, but El Alarusi swings it across to O'Brien on the baseline for the jumper. Gets another offensive rebound. McGrath should have picked it, didn't. And O'Brien finishes this time. Ten seconds to go. McCann pushing the pace. Cross to McGrath. McGrath will let the three fly. Hits the front of the rim. So seven points in it going into this fourth. Exciting third quarter. We'll be right back for the fourth. So welcome back to this final 10 minutes of the under 19 C Schools Cup final. Like I said previously, the only Schools Cup final on. It had been rescheduled from January. The rest of the finals on over the next four days are all Schools League finals. And coming up next, we have the uh, under 16 A with St. Pat's College from Cavan versus St. Joseph's the Bish in Galway. Here we have Methodist College in the Navy from Belfast playing St. Andrews from Booterstown here in Dublin in the lighter blue with the orange numbers. 
Alvarag pulls up. McCann with the rebound, finds McGrath. McGrath steps back, long two. Doesn't drop, O'Brien grabs the rebound. Tries to reverse. Good steal by Laura Fennell. She finds Heatley for that long two that she's been good at. McGrath with the offensive rebound and she'll pick up the foul. So just to give you an update on the foul situation, Laura McCann from Methody, number 10, has three fouls. She's the only player with three. And in foul trouble for St. Andrews Booterstown, number 48, O'Brien. And number 60, who I think just picked up her fifth. And she will be sitting down for the rest of the game as Sarah Atkinson checks in, number 25. Yeah, that last quarter was huge from uh, Sarah Brown. She had uh, eight in the third. That's uh, half of what she scored altogether, so 16 points uh, leading for uh, Booterstown. And on the other team in Methody, the McCann and um, McGrath both have 12 points each, so um, they're sharing the ball very well between the two of them. As we see McGrath take her total up to 14. O'Brien with the ball, nine points. Equals the largest lead of the game so far for Methody. Methody have switched into a man as well. And now, good rebound by Fennell. She found McGrath. McGrath with the Euro step and she finishes. Pushes it out to 11 points with just over eight and a half minutes to go. O'Brien. Out wide to Alvarag. Alvarag. Finds Bingham inside. Bingham misses with that attempt. Joyce with the rebound. McGrath to McCann. McCann's looking for that pull-up. McGrath steps in to help her out. And there's Joyce. And she finds McCann with good check there by Alvrag. She releases O'Brien. Nice Euro step and finishes. Eight minutes to go in this fourth quarter as we see Heatley push the pace for Methody. McGrath pulls up, doesn't drop, but McCann's in. Great spot for another offensive rebound. That one comes off Heatley. So it will be a St. Andrews ball. You have to say the switch to man for both teams has been crucial and got uh, St. Andrews back into it Paul and it's been big for Methody this past six or seven minutes. Yeah definitely I think uh, with Andrews it, it worked well coming into or uh, going into the third but I think uh, they should have switched back a little sooner I think taking Brown out of the paint and protecting the rim was a bit of a mistake that they kind of figured out and um, that's another score there. And Heaty with that elbow jumper I think that's possibly her eighth point today. She has done well off that, as we see Alvarag for St. Andrews. Looking inside at Brown. Brown comes, sets the high screen. Alvarag with the floater, doesn't drop. McCann now with the ball for Methody. She's attacking the lane. Nice finish. And it's going to be a timeout for St. Andrews Booterstown. 6.54 to go in this fourth quarter. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to this under 19C Ladies National Cup final. Methody and Navy with their largest lead of the game. Opportune point to have it, you'd have to say, in this 6.50 to go in this fourth quarter. As we see Avrag with the ball for St. Andrews, is looking inside for Brown and finds her. Nice pass inside, threaded the needle between two defenders. That'll be the first foul on Joyce Alueli. Brown on the line. First one doesn't drop for her. McCann with the defensive rebound. And she pushes the pace. Heatley misses. Bingham with the rebound. And the pace has definitely increased as we see O'Brien take that three-point attempt, but it was tipped by Heatley. Good defense. The pace has definitely increased here, Paul. Yeah, Motorstown know now that they uh, didn't hit a big push in order to get back in this game of six minutes left in the fourth. So the intensity has just got very high all of a sudden. McGrath. Finds Joyce McCann in the corner. Looking for McGrath. She gets her in the low post. McGrath spins, but that one didn't drop. But the ball comes off Bingham's shoe. And it will stay a methody ball. McGrath. That was a bit long, and O'Brien picks it up. O'Brien looks long for Alvarag. Deflected by Methody, so it will stay a St. Andrews ball. 5.55 to go on this fourth. Brown. Those are the ones she was making in that third quarter. As we see McCann pushing the pace. Off balance, shot doesn't drop for her. Alvarag with the rebound. Atkinson across to O'Brien. O'Brien with the step back. Good defense by McGrath. She gets out on her. Heatley with the ball. Good work by Alvarag to get the steal. And she thought about the three, but it's set inside to Brown. And Brown does make that one drop. So 11 points in it. McCann slows the pace a little bit here for Methody. She finds McGrath. Across the Fennel, inside to McCann. McCann looks but Brown with another block. After she got her off her feet, Brown just turned her back and reached as we have a timeout called. Five minutes to go, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Just over five minutes to go in this fourth quarter. Methody with the 11 point lead. Crowd getting behind St. Andrews. Urging them on now for a couple of defensive stops and 
They're back in their man-to-man -man again. Heatley, top of the key at the free throw line, and she banks that one in. She has been money from 15 feet today. Yeah, she's come up with a lot of big scores for them after they to keep them. O'Brien just short on that attempt, and McCann with the ball. Methody slowing down a little bit now, you have to say, trying to control the pace on offense. As we see Heatley look inside to Fennell. McCann with the offensive rebound, and she'll take it back out. Out to Heatley, across to Fennell, Fennell to McGrath. Shot clock's getting low, McGrath puts it up on the step back, it doesn't drop. Atkinson with the defensive rebound and Alvarag will push the pace for St. Andrews. They're not trying to slow down. That one doesn't fall for her. McCann with another defensive rebound. She's been a double-double machine today, McCann. Yeah, and for one of the smaller players on the court, uh, offensively and defensively, she's got a lot of rebounds. And as I was saying to you during the break, there, she just hasn't stopped running all day. Nice high-low play there. McGrath with a great pass from four feet outside the three-point line to the cutting. Joyce. She finishes, draws contact, and will go for an extra one. That was Bingham's first foul. Two team fouls for St. Andrews. 3.54 to go. She knocks it down, and we are at 16 points as they find Brown with it, looking for the immediate answer, but that one doesn't drop. McCann weighing up her options. McGrath with the long three-point attempt. Doesn't fall. McCann was working hard inside. I think she felt that maybe it came off Alvarag, but referee saw it differently. And here's O'Brien. O'Brien looking at Brown inside. Gives it to Alvarag. Alvarag launches the three-point attempt. Brown gets the offensive rebound. Alvarag lets it go again. This time it is good. 3.17 to go. St. Andrews need a few more of those to get back into this. McCann doing a good job controlling the pace here. Fennell to Heatley. Heatley a little bit loose with that pass. O'Brien with it. Heatley will pick it up. Not a bad fall to give, you have to say. Stop the transition. Yeah, they were in a bit of trouble there. There was uh, a couple of St. Andrews players on the break, so a, a smart play about the giveaway. And timeout called. Just on three minutes to go. We'll be right back. So that was St. Andrews, third time out. So they'll have no more left for the last three minutes of this game. Their possession. And that was Avian Heatley's third foul. So she joins Laura McCann as the two players in it. As we see the ball being thrown over the top. O'Brien picks it up off the floor. She goes to work. And gets that one to drop. Nice play by O'Brien, you gotta say. She's got some nice handles on her, Paul. 
Yeah, and uh, some great footwork too. She's had a lovely couple of spin moves, uh, step backs, and she's had a very good attack in Arsenal. Great pass again by McGrath, finding Joyce inside. That's the second time in the last minute that they've gone and had success with that high-low combination. O'Brien finds Brown inside. Brown gets blocked. Travel called. Good defense by Methody. 2.26 to go in this fourth. McGrath with the ball. She finds McCann. McGrath was open for a split second, but McCann said, nope, I got this. Great job of recognizing the defense was pushed up and tight on their players and there was space to attack the basket. Alvarag, long three-point attempt. Off the front to the rim, Fennel with the rebound to McCann, to McGrath. McGrath's going to Euro step it, and she gets that to fall. 1.50 to go. O'Brien trying to get St. Andrews back into it. That jump shot doesn't drop. Rebound by Atkinson. Back out to O'Brien. Alvarag is free on this wing if they can see her, but O'Brien lets it go from deep. Brown with a good offensive rebound. She may have twisted her knee a little bit as she came down. So she's just getting checked out. It'll be a referee's timeout, and we'll be right back with you. All right, welcome back, 131 to go. Sarah Brown took a bit of a knock, I think. It actually might have been her ankle and not her knee. She's just been checked out on the sideline. Referees explaining to the coaches what the call is. I would imagine it'll stay a St. Andrew's ball as they had possession when she went down and the referees stopped the game due to concerns for the safety of the player so and checking in for St. Andrews is Vanessa Zhang O'Brien in the corner.
Alvrag, long two, doesn't fall. Ball will stay with St. Andrews. Atkinson inbounding. Substitution and Amaretta Leddy checking in for St. Andrews. Ball with O'Brien on top of the key. Big the pass on the handoff. Defense bought it and she attacked that right hand lane and got that ball to drop. 110 to go. Laura McCann swings it across to McGrath. McGrath thought about holding it up. But saw the wide open lane and attacked in. Drew the foul. So she'll go to the free throw line for two. Have to say, good job by Metody today, Paul. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. It was a close game the whole way through, you know, um, but I think they just had a little bit more fitness, a little bit more legs, and uh, McCann especially was just so disruptive defensively and uh, getting so many offensive boards and, you know, really led her team well. Um, I think they were fantastic today. Um, I must say, though, on um, St. Andrews, I was very impressed by Sarah Brown, who has gone off injured, but, uh, or defense, the amount of blocks she got, offensive rebounds, and some big scores when they needed needed it, but it uh, just wasn't enough today. Yeah, and Alvrag and O'Brien were also impressive, I felt, for St. Andrews, as was Georgie McGrath, and in particular Avian Heatley, I thought, did a phenomenal job for Methody. As we see Fennel with it. McCann, taking time off the clock, kicks it out to McGrath. Back to McCann. All about just eating up some time. Jump ball is going to be called. 27 and a half seconds to go. So as we had said, coming up next will be the under 16A School League Boys Final between St. Pat's from Cavan and St. Joseph's the Bish from Galway. That'll be at 1 o'clock. Please check out our game zone on the BI website for information on the times and who's playing when. As we see, O'Brien launched the last three-point attempt. Congratulations to Methodist College from Belfast, who win this under-19C Ladies' school, Schools Cup Final, only Schools Cup game, as we'd said on this week. It was rescheduled from January. Uh, commiserations to St. Andrews and Booterstown. They were in it right the way through the whole game, and it was very, very close. But it was just, uh, as you said, Paul, a little bit of fitness, some great work by McCann in particular, and they managed to pull away in that fourth quarter. Presentations are going to start here now, so we will end our commentary, but we'll leave you with some pictures of the presentations as they happen. And like I said, back 1 o'clock for the tip, the under-16A boys' Schools League Cup Final.